something about the story of this planar cell and uh, what did you like most about the story? I, th I think what's, uh, what I think is interesting in our story is that it's the first time that Sam is the leader mm -hmm. for Teshlan. So, so the story, of course, is about Sam uh, stopping the blacklist, but I think more importantly, it's a story about Sam becoming a leader. It's a story about Sam learning how to work with others. It's a story about a group of people that at the beginning are not unified as a team, and as they progress you know, through the story, they become unified and they learn to work extremely well together. So it's more personal, something more well, personal. It's always, I think there, we always try to have a, a Tom Clancy and a personal angle to our stories, right? Sam is a hero, obviously, so we need to have a, a, a Tom Clancy uh, threat. But uh, at the same time, I think where, where it's interesting is when we, we're telling the, the story of the characters, the story of the, of the soul. Okay. And uh, tell me something about the gameplay change. So why you decided to make, you decided to make it more popular. So maybe you just wanted to extend the niche because mm -hmm. Splinter Cell at the beginning was well, for a niche of gamers. Mm -hmm. But now I think it's uh, for, not for everyone, of course, but for uh, a bigger Well, I think public. it's for a lot of people. I hope it is. The, I think the, um, what's, what, what, what we found was that there's a lot of people that wanted to play a Splinter Cell game, but some of them found it, uh, there were certain elements that some people didn't like. Some people didn't like that it was too slow paced. Mm -hmm. Some people didn't like that it was uh, too difficult or too punitive. So, so we, we, we kind of uh, looked at that and we tried to uh, adapt the game to support the, these different types of people. And we, we gave them play styles, you mm -hmm. know, like uh, the ghost play style, the panther play style, and the assault play style. And for me, it's really that. I don't think that if you're playing in normal, it's the first time you play the game, mm -hmm. you'll be able to go through uh, in an assault uh, way the whole the whole game super fast. I think it's going to be a lot more challenging. But I think if you're new to the game or if you're new to the brand and you want to play assault, well, I think you can play in, in, in rookie or maybe in, in normal, it's easy. But it's not going to be... Uh, Do you want me to restart? Or you... no, no, don't worry. So, everyone, now. Okay. We're done. Finished. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay. And um, is there something that will make me say, "Wow," once playing? I play just not too much, but maybe. Yeah. There will be something that will make me say, wow, what is this? In your opinion, of course. Wow. Your question is making me say, wow. wow. Interesting. Uh, well, I think, I think that uh, what I'm hoping mm -hmm. is that you're going to find a lot of wows in the gameplay mm -hmm. uh, thanks to uh, what you do. So I'm not saying that you're going to be playing and then there's going to be an explosion and you say, wow. Mm -hmm. But what I'm hoping is that, and there is, and maybe you'll say wow, but I think the real wow is when you play and you're fully immersed and then you have this idea of, oh, I'll wait for this guy to go there, then I'll get him in a hand to win, and I'll mark these two and then I'll execute. And then you're going to do it and then it's going to work and you're going to be, wow, I was able to do that, you know? Your heart so, will do well, yes, exactly. <laughs> and I think that those are the best moments. Me, when I play, my, my best emotions when I say wow, it's when I come up with a tactic. I have this, I look, I see these enemies, I'm like, oh, maybe I have time to do this. And then I mark, I mark, I, I throw a, a sleeping gas grenade, that guy falls on the ground, this other guy comes to see him, then I run, I hand to end him, you know? So I think the, the, a lot of our wow that is powerful mm -hmm. is the wow that comes from the core gameplay and the AI and the systems working together when a player is really trying to be creative and to embrace the, the, the mechanics. Okay, and that's the last one. Sure. <laughs> About the game, what is the thing uh, you are most proud of? So when well, someone will say you... The, the, I think the, 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 the one thing that I'm the most proud of mm -hmm. it is probably the game overall because it's, it's a new game. It's the first game from Ubisoft Toronto. 
So you know we're, we're a new studio. Like three years ago, I was moving to Toronto. There was nothing, you know. It was uh, walls, computers, a bathroom, and now we're uh, we're more than 300 people. Uh, we've made blacklist, and we worked. You know, blacklist is so big that we had to work with Montreal and Shanghai. Montreal did the Spy versus Mergs. Shanghai did uh, the the co-op maps. So I think it's it's really cool because we're we're. we're it was the first game from our studio. We worked with other studios. We worked with great partners, and I, I'm I'm hoping that people will uh, will be really excited to play the game. So that's probably the thing that I'm the most proud of: is that we built a game, but we also built a studio at the same time. It's a very big team working. So <laughs> team. I don't know the games. names of everyone. <laughs> when I look at the credits. Uh... So in Toronto, <laughs> you are 300, and then yeah. the other studios. How I, many people? I think 60. In Montreal and maybe 60, 70 in uh, Shanghai. Whoa, I think. A lot of people. Yes. Okay. Yes, lots Thank of you. people. Thank you very much. Oh, pleasure, <laughs> pleasure, pleasure. <laughs>